Achieving your fleet sustainability goals requires diligence and thoughtfulness, but you can come up with some interesting and wildly successful combinations, just like this fleet in Eugene, Oregon did. Well, I think our big thing is sustainability. We're, we're being handed down so many different ways of how we can be greener in our fleets. And, and that's something we started with about 10 years ago as far as Eugene. I've only been with the EUF for about six years now, but we've made a lot of different strides over the last couple of years. And a lot of fleets are actually looking at us and benchmarking against what we've done. One of the things we did is, is our leadership team came to us and they put together sustainability goals. And, you know, obviously you look at them, you go, wow, how in the world am I going to do that? You know, we have a 50% reduction in fuel by the year 2030. Uh, we're looking at a 20% reduction in our, you know, carbon footprint by the year 2020 and be carbon neutral by 2050. And how do you do that? You know, they come and they look at you and they want to plan. The reality is, you know, you got to do something. So we, we took, and we took a pretty logical approach, you know, what was available. And a few years ago, we really didn't have some of the options of some electric vehicles we do today. We don't see some of the CNGs back then. But we did have, was a lot of flex fuel vehicles out there. We were able to get them, even though the cap of 8,500 GBW, we actually bought heavier vehicles that were flex fuel, and we looked at our other trucks that were diesel. And uh, so what we did is once we built up our fleet to have enough flex fuel vehicles, we put in an E85 tank. And today we run E15 fuel, we run E85, and we run B30. And 30% 30 of all our fuel needs is an alternative fuel. We've re reduced our uh, carbon footprint over 13.8%. And the cost was less than $15,000 to do it per year. So when you go back and you look at the cost, I can't even buy an electric vehicle over a regular vehicle. And I did the whole fleet for that, so it's a good story.